helpful MCAT tips. Eat a balanced breakfast. Be sure to get a good night's sleep the night before the scheduled exam date. Yeah, right. Hey, babe. Hi, bunny. Sorry to be calling again. Yeah, no, it's all good. How are you holding up over there? You okay? Not so good. I just gave practice test three another shot. You know why I have trouble with cars. Hmm. And? What? Uh, what did you get when you did practice test three? Are you sure you want to know? I took it a few weeks back. Came up with a 515, I think. Oh, wow, that's, that's really good. Yeah, you? 123 for cars, 502 overall. Oh. How are you so much better at this stuff than I am? You should probably be heading home soon. Shit, it is getting late. I gotta stick around and keep working a bit longer, though. Just until I'm really ready, you know? But I'll see you tomorrow, right? Hmm. You bet. Hi, Bunny. I'm sorry to wake you. I can't focus. I just really want to hear your voice. Boy, you're really out, huh? I'm like a baby. You still at campus this late? Yeah, I just, I can't stop thinking about, like, what if I run out of time and I can't get my last thought out? Or what if I studied all the wrong material and I wasted all of my time on something that wouldn't even be on the fucking exam? Okay, and what whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. You seem crazy stressed out, babe. You should really get home and try and get some sleep. Start time's at 8.30. Okay, I guess I'll try soon, maybe. Sorry to bug you again. Night, buddy. It's fine, don't worry. Night. Jeez, babe, what time is it? Are you still on campus? What are you still doing there? I can't do this exam, Sam. I, I just can't. I can't do it. I'm not cut out for this. I'm just not. You need to calm down. Just breathe. I can't concentrate. And there's no way I'm going to get any sleep like this. And it's so late. And God, what if I fall asleep after the exam starts? Or what if the nerves make me throw up again? I really, really can't do this. You're going to be fine. You shouldn't worry so much. Well, aren't you worried? Clearly you seem to have this whole thing a lot more figured out than I do. 
Why do I have to be so much more nervous than you are? Seriously, how are you staying so calm right now? Why are you so wrapped up in what I'm doing? What does that mean? My practice test scores, my study routine, everything I'm doing, you're always comparing yourself to me. Plus, you call me like 12 times a day. Well, you can't blame me for wanting to keep up with you. You said we're a team and doing this test together, that's always been the plan. And hey, maybe if we both got into UBC. I practically have nightmares about sitting down in that exam room without you there next to me. I already took the exam. You what? I was gonna wait till tomorrow morning to tell you. I had a shot to take it sooner. So I did. A few weeks ago. I don't understand. I wanted... I was hoping to get out of the way early so I can get a head start on my application to McGill. Wait, McGill, I thought we both wanted to go to UBC. We just always talked and hoped about going to the same school together. I, I thought this would be like the start of a new chapter for us. I'm really sorry. To be honest, I think the distance might be a good idea. I don't think I could do this by myself. The MCAT, med school, any of it. I need you. I need us. What does your career have to do with us? If med school is what you really want, what do you need me for? You know, I'm not responsible for your future. If you really can't do this on your own, maybe you really aren't cut out for this. Wow. Thanks. Fuck, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Come on, you can do this. Shit. Okay. Hi, it's Sloan Campbell. C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L. -E Am I good for time? Cutting a little close there, hon. But you're fine. We're shutting the doors for the 8.30 pretty soon, though. Anybody else come in behind you? Nope. It's just me.